Here you can see that I've profiled a square and my model is 12 inches by 12 inches with the datum or the origin in the center of the model. Now I've actually gone to the machine and realized that my piece of material that I have isn't 12 inches by 12 inches, it's actually 18 inches by 12 inches. So what I'd like to do is add that extra material onto the model so that I can utilize that material. So to do that, what we need to do is go to the model drop down, come down to add border, select that, and this allows you to add any material that you would like onto the model. Now a couple of things that you need to watch out for, the first one is this colour swab here. You can see at the moment it's white. So if I were to change that and right click on one of these colours, so it has to be the secondary colour. So if I right click on red and then go to it, you can see that this is now red. So make sure that you right click on the white colour and then go on to it because when you do this in the 2D view, if you don't do it, then it will add the extra material on, but it will be whatever color that you have selected. So if I go to model, add border, now you can do this symmetrical if you want to make the whole model larger, or you can add it onto a side. So let's say that I turn off symmetrical and I want to add it onto the right. So I'm going to add six inches, select OK. And then that has added six inches. And it's also kept my origin in the same place. So if you want to have an offset origin, that's how you also do it. Now, if I don't want that, and I want to put the origin back into the center, let's take a look in the 3D view so you can see it clearer. Here you can see my origin. If I want that to be in the center of my model, then what I need to do is go to model, set position, and then choose center pixel. And then that will move it. Now what this will also do is move the toolpath. So what you need to do then is right click on the toolpath and then select calculate. And then that recalculates the toolpath. 